bully town, boogie now. Blue and orange, blue and orange, blue and orange, blue and orange. Kings County to the kingdom of the Queens Bridge. Blue and orange, blue and orange. Thinking about why, thinking about when, thinking about all the times that I spent. I just wanna be a kid again. I just wanna be a kid again. Thinking about what, thinking about where, thinking about all the times that you dared that I wouldn't be a kid again. Look at me, I am a kid again. What's up guys, Confusion GTM here. We got Freeman War against the Corleone crime family. What you guys are gonna see right away in the beginning is how Don J C and uh, AJ caught up on kills with me right away. Cause they kept running me over. Um these guys I've uh, you know I've had personal beef with Don J C forever. I hate I mean I'm not a fan of him. He's not I don't know, I just don't like him. He talks way too much shit. And it's just really annoying. And as you guys saw in the beginning, this started with just me and the two Corleone Dons the right here that you're seeing killing me and how they caught up, like I said, how they caught up on kills but it started out with that and then I slowly started getting my members in and you know, he slowly started getting his members in and we just kept fighting, this was a good couple hours in the Fremo War I'm the, um, at the end you're gonna see they wound up going to their apartments and uh, then leaving the game and they went to the apartments just saying that we were using miniguns, RPGs, and all this stuff. No, we weren't. We weren't even using miniguns. We weren't using C4s. I, I think one RPG was fired at one of their guys who was inside of a supercar. And it, um, these guys say, you guys don't know, like, we don't know the mafia rules. These, you know, these guys are like one of the only mafias that still drive supercars. They weren't driving supercars in the beginning. But you'll see at the end when one of them actually get into a supercar. And not to mention that Corleon Pierre, which is the guy inside of that supercar, this is the guy who sat with a bulletproof helmet the whole entire Fremo War. So that guy headshots, you know, it's really hard to kill him because it doesn't, it takes a lot harder to kill someone with a bulletproof helmet if you know, you know, it takes like more than, I mean, it can take two to three even more headshots depending how like range wise you are on him. And it was just really annoying to face him. And he was inside of the supercar. And, you know, having a bulletproof helmet inside of a car where you're already protected, it's it's hard and it's annoying. So, you know, they wound up going to the apartments and then leaving. But overall, I, like, I enjoyed this Remo War. I mean, and for the most part, it was legit until they got into the supercar. And then they got blown, uh, well, they tried to get blown out of the supercar. But, yeah, they didn't, they just went to their apartments then. But, um... Uh, yeah, I mean, like, this is the only family that still uses supercars. And if you guys, the reason what this Fremo happened, like, last week, I haven't been uploading because, well, you guys know, I have a job, and I'm trying to save my money for a car because my parents aren't just going to give me a car. I, you know, I have to pay for my own car and all that stuff. So, you know, it's not like, you know. But uh, overall, it was a good Fremo war. Good job to all the UTM members that were involved. And I'm trying to get more active. I, it's hard because, you know, with with having the job and on the, my weekends and then during the weekend you know I, i'm trying to i've been i i'm starting to hang out with some uh people that yeah this girl or whatever but that's none of y'all business <laughs> but uh you know what uh so yeah good job to everybody involved in the fremo war uh well i want i'm gonna start putting up some of yepka's cod edits too because yep guy's gotten really really good with his cod edits lately and I, I was listening to them in like these good headphones like the turtle beaches and these headphones I have in school when I was bored in like my study hall or k-block we call it k-block in my school where it's like a good you know like a study hall type thing and uh yeah I just was listening to them because I was bored in these huge headphones and the sound and the syncing was really good so you know I'm probably gonna upload that so yeah good job again to everybody stay tuned for more videos and to the people, I know some people I believe left that were in this Remo Ward in UTM, but hey, it's whatever. We still gonna keep on going. I love y'all. We on top. From the dust to ground zero They living for the villains I'm dying to be the hero Different from the rest But I was a proud widow These mortals turn my heart colder than Sub-Zero Ready for combat I'm back No cape, no speedo 
kryptonite backpack Superman ego Darker than a Batman night But I shine like the Batman light Over my city and the people Where's the leaders when everybody says follow me? So the leaders are also doing the following 140 characters ain't enough for apologies Or descriptions of what you motherfuckers are about to see Last time that you ever see us When they deficient of B12 If courage had a height, y'all would be elves Dropping that whack shit, I would rather be shelled To be killed or have my feet nailed To the pedal of a CL with three nails Huh, iller than a nigga on the DL Labels tried to sleep, but I prevailed When they saw me dropping shit in the tail like Ezel Man, I'm on fire, this that Denzel Don't inhale, Jordan from the free throw Diamond equal gets windmill I'm trying to do that with rap And then chill, and then still Put on for my city like I put back on that green Backpack that they use the ID when they forget The last time that you'll ever see us Activate this, you're gonna go blind This is the last time that it'll be your last time